Welcome to this P6 virtual demo. I'm Ben Diaz, SGM Product Manager, and we are going to talk today about this wash, blinder, and strobe fixture. So this is a red, green, blue, and white LED fixture. Uh, you have the same red, green, and blue LEDs in terms of wavelength that you have in other SGM products from the P, Q, and I series, all of them calibrated the same way. And you also have white LEDs, as you can see here. When you have the white LED, this is a 5,700K white LED, but most of the users use the P6 with all red, green, blue, and white LEDs together to achieve the same color temperature, as you can see here. You get a brighter output, you get a, a calibrated 5,700K, and you take advantage of the CTC control, the color temperature control. Over the CTC control, when you are working a color calibrated DMX mode, you have always the chance to go to raw values. And when you do that, then you get this. You get more output, but of course the colors are not calibrated over the black body curve. Using the color temperature control, you can go from 2000K white color temperature, as you can see here, warm color temperature, up to 10,000K uh, color temperature, cold color temperature, in a very linear way, as you can see here. You will go through 3,200K, 5,600K, 6,500K. Also, the dimming curve, the default dimming curve of the P6 has this uh, natural, smooth uh, way of uh, decay, but you can change through different dimming curves this behavior. So this is the fading that you get with gamma-corrected dimming curve, which is more organic, uh, a bit more soft at the beginning and at the end. Or you can go for a linear uh, dimming curve that will go mathematically linearly from 100% to 0% or the other way around. You can also use this halogen look dimming curve that somehow emulates the way a tungsten lamp behaves. And you also have other adjustments in terms of color, like the plus minus green adjustment. Here you can see that using the same color temperature of 5700K, I'm adding green to it. I can also add magenta to it. It's a fine tuning of the amount of green in case you have cameras involved and you, have, uh, and you, and you need more control over the green. Apart from this, the fixture is a very powerful strobe. That's why some of the users call it all-in-one since you can use it as a blinder, as a wash, as, and as a strobe. And when you're using it as a strobe lamp, then you have the chance to use rate and duration and effect as separate DMX channels, as you can see here, like a traditional strobe. Uh, here we can see the different uh, duration that you can have, always linear, of course. And then you have different effects. In this effect, you are seeing a uh, lining effect, some kind of flickering that is active over the six different pixels or segments that you have available here on the P6. Here you can see a different effect using the RGB uh, LEDs plus the strobe over the six pixels. When you use the six pixels without the strobe, then you can do different pixel mapping uh, functionalities like the one that you are seeing here, which is an included macro. Uh, you have several macros included playing with colors. And you have, of course, different combinations of pixels and different shapes, all of them included as macros. But of course, you have also DMX modes with independent pixel control. Also, in, in, you have it in 8 bit and you have it in 16 bit as well. But apart from all these things, you have some physical tools to modify the fixture. Uh, the native beam angle of the P6 is 10 degree, but by using different magnetic holographic filters, you can shape the beam. In this case, with the medium filter, you are achieving around an 18 degree beam angle. You can also use a more uh, wide angle diffusion, like this one, it gives you around a 45 degree beam angle. And also you have two different elliptical filters. One is the elliptical horizontal, that it spreads the light all over the horizontal axis, but nothing on the vertical axis. And the elliptical vertical that does exactly the opposite way, concentrates all the output over the vertical axis. So thanks for watching.